Hi guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wilds. Welcome back to another edition of Trailer Trash Tuesdays. So the last time I uh, I did um, kind of an apothecary uh, kind of video, um, I think I'm going to do that again today. And it's going to go back to uh, a video that I did fairly recently. And this is a nice uh, kind of continuation of that. So let's go back to uh, my bathroom and get into my little apothecary kit and see what we got. Okay. What we have here is ghost pipe tincture. I try to keep everything labeled so that I know exactly what it is. There's no guesswork. Um, most of my labels so far are uh, done on uh, paper towel because I got to get some paper here. But uh, eh, it works. Now, um, I made this with vodka and obviously ghost pipe. It is. Oh, do I? No, I don't have a light on me right now. It, it's gone just so dark. It's, it's a dark, dark, dark purple, but in the jar, it looks like almost black, and you, you can barely see through it, even when I shine light through it. Okay, I made this about three... No. Yeah, it was about three, three, four weeks ago. Right after I did the the video, um, before I even released the video on Ghost Pipe, um, I I made the tincture as well, and I thought about doing the video and the tincture like all together, um, but I had to get a video out, so you know, part two, I guess, um, and you know, it gives me something to do today. Uh, let's go back to the front of the trailer, sit down, and just talk a little bit. Okay. Right. Ghost pipe tincture. I picked enough ghost pipe basically to fill this container. Then I filled it with vodka. Pretty much right up to the top. Like, she's pretty full. Then I let it sit for six to eight weeks. Uh, you can let it sit for as long as you want, but around six to eight weeks is, is where you're pretty much at your maximum potency. That's where you get it as potent as it's going to be. Um, it is, as I mentioned uh, in my Ghost Pipe video, it is a Nervine painkiller. This is very, very, very good at relieving pain um, that is pretty, pretty bad pain. I mean, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, oh, I have a little bit of a headache, I better take an aspirin. This is stronger than aspirin. It's probably not stronger than Tylenol 3s, but I don't know that for sure. It's still pretty strong. Um, and it is a Nervine painkiller. So things uh, like a bad toothache, that would probably do the job where a lot of painkillers wouldn't necessarily help that. Uh, it does take a while, six to eight weeks. You know, you got to sort of sit on it and just wait. Uh, but... I mean, definitely worth it, and, uh, you know, I mean, basically two to three drops under the tongue. I would say no more than two or three times a day, but you would probably want to just work your way into it until you find the dosage that works for you. Um, but it is pretty strong, so you don't want to mess with this stuff uh, just willy-nilly. You, you got to be careful with it. Two or three drops of this under the tongue in a, a jar like this, this is going to last me a good long time. And uh, I myself have two of these. Um, I actually made quite a bit more, um, but I, I gave uh, most of it to friends and family uh, who could uh, benefit from it, who would need it. Um, so... 
all told, I, I guess I made, what, 52 ounces of it. I had two bottles of vodka, two 26s of vodka is what I used, all told. Uh, so imagine um, drinking two bottles of vodka at a maximum of six to nine drops a day. Those, those bottles of vodka are going to last you quite a long time. Um, and this doesn't go bad like the way aspirin does. You, you keep this stored in a fairly cool, kind of dark place, it'll last a good long time. Um, you take expired aspirin, it could kill you. So, you know, uh, it, it at least has that going for it. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, other than the painkiller, I mean, you know, it's got some sedative effects, anti-spasmodic, uh, you know. I don't want to repeat myself from, you know, my ghost pipe video too, too much, because I don't want you guys to... Uh, you know, get bored of watching me or whatever, but uh, uh, it is a pretty strong medicine. It is definitely something that I like having in my uh, little apothecary kit. Um, and I hope I'm, you know, naming that the right thing or whatever. <laughs> uh, my herbalist kit, my apothecary kit, whatever, I don't know. I'm going to call it my apothecary kit. Um, let me know if the, in, the, in the comments if that is, like, grossly inaccurate. Uh, <laughs> then maybe I'll call it something else. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, ghost pipe tincture, guys. Uh, if you have ghost pipe growing in your area, make some, give it a try. If, uh, you know, if it's something that you think uh, you, you might benefit from. But, once again, it is a pretty strong medicine, so be careful with it. That's what I got for you this week, guys. See you guys in the next video. Till then, stay well.